and welcome to day number 20. I am recording today music recording stuff. Also gonna film a normal video, like a main channel type video. Um, but I'm gonna do that a bit later. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna show you what I'm recording because it's a surprise. Well, you've already seen a snippet of it, I think, in my other vlogmas where I showed you how I record my songs and stuff. So this vlog, I don't know how bare it's gonna be. I'll find stuff I can vlog. Sorry, I'm just like pulling at my eyelashes as I'm talking to you. How great. But yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I've finished recording or probably when I start eating. I want to open my advent calendar chocolate because I'm not going to do that before I sing because chocolate is not good before you sing. Facts. I've been recording for the last like two hours or something, maybe three hours. And I'm really hungry so i'm gonna make some food and i'm gonna do what i did the other day oh my god i'm trying to yawn and when i yawn and talk my nostrils just flare <laughs> thank you so i have to go to the supermarket to get some food because we don't really have any food in the house which i'm not totally thrilled about i'll be honest like i'm wearing some jeans but I need to change this part of my outfit okay my dad just got in i could hear him so I'm gonna wait to see if he goes out and then be like, oh, since you're going out, can you get me these ingredients, please? And if he watches this, I'm sorry, Dad. But you brought on yourself. He just came in and asked me if I want anything from Tesco. Mission accomplished. So I've started my makeup, which is why I look a bit crazy, but my dad and I got me some peppers, so yeah. Huh? Hello? I'm vlogging! People in this house are constantly like, what are you saying? Who are you talking to? I'm like, I vlog, okay? I just got an email from a company I'm doing a sponsored video with, um, which means I'll have to dye my hair this week. Which is super exciting. So I might do the process before I film the video tomorrow of like getting rid of the blue and stuff. I've been trying to sort of just like lighten it as much as possible so that I don't have to bleach it because I well, I probably will a little bit have to bleach it. I don't know whether to do my roots or keep my roots. And then my hair will be a different colour by Friday. Possibly, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna make some pepper pasta. So, let's go. I wasn't recording. No, it's day number 20. Let's just do that again. Oh, so where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. Yay, it's my favorite one. Dad, do you want this one? I saved it from the other day. It's white chocolate and meat, normal chocolate. And meat. <laughs> and meat. And, meat. <laughs> and normal chocolate. I was going to say medium chocolate. Balls. Stop it. <laughs> you beef meat. No, do you want it or not? Meat. Do you want it or not? Chicken meat. Dad. Snow meat. Yeah. I hope you enjoy- what are you doing? Surgically- Oh my god, that is- that just feels very dangerous. It is, I just killed the snow meatball! Stop it! Of course, middle didn't taste as good as I thought it was going to taste. Yeah. Like, I don't love those ones. Oh, that's like chocolate with snot in the middle. I wouldn't go that far. I'd just oh. say it's slightly less enjoyable than these ones. These ones are my favourite ones. But like leading snot. Mmm, this one will go. Okay, I just gotta get ready. Because I'm about to go film. Because I was like choking in the background. The second part of my lookbook. Yay. It's gotta do my face! It's gotta do my face! Every time I say it. My face! My face! <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do my face. Back to where I was earlier doing my makeup, and I'm gonna do. Oh, I need to wet my blue my blue tea blender. My blue tea blender. Don't know what that is, but my beauty blender. Where is it? Found it. Look, it's dirty. I always clean my beauty blender just before I use it. So this is how I do it. I use this thing. 
Don't you love it when I just describe things really well? Deep Cleansing Oil by DHC. It's a facial cleanser, but I really like it for my beauty blender. I don't like it on my face, just because it doesn't work with my skin type. So what I do, okay, is I wet my beauty blender a bit. Just wet in it. And then I take this and I almost like inject my beauty blender with the oil. It also keeps like the beauty blender really um, soft. Because you know they can get kind of rough after a while. Not with this stuff. Yeah, so I just like press it in. Squidge it a bit. But you can already see the, the rubbish coming out. Oh, and then I just rinse it and I wash it. And then sometimes I need to do that twice. Um, the best way to clean them is honestly with a rubbish soap. Like the worst soap is, the cheaper the soap is, better it is for beauty blenders like the 10 piece soap from Tesco so good really nice dove soap not so good honestly like just harsh soaps I'm gonna do a first impressions on the LA girl um, foundation which I'm super excited about um it's this one here I'm sure loads of you have tried it and um, this is in the shade fair I watched Shelby's video and she was using the shade Fair, I think. Oh no, she used the shade, um, the one up from Fair, which was I think something like light, and it was like way too dark for her. And I'm a very similar colour to Shelby, so I was like, right, okay, well I'm not gonna get that one. She had to like lighten it with a white foundation. Um, so I just got the shade down. Mm, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, this is like I'm using natural light today because my ring lights downstairs. I just undid my trousers because they are. I just ate and they're a bit tight for me. No shame. Um, my skin is improving so much with this new skincare re um, routine that I'm doing. I'm so excited. Like this side's a little bit, it's still got a bit of texture and I've broken out a little bit here and I've obviously got a break out there and here. But this side is just getting better and better and better and I'm so excited for it to just continue, for it to continue to improve. If it does, obviously, I mean, it could just all go backwards and downhill from here. Okay, I'm just gonna stick my hair up behind my face. I don't really know what it's behind. Um, just because I don't want this foundation to get in my hair, obviously. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna pump a bit of it onto the back of my hand. Or not. Oh, it's Smells not good. Don't like the smell at all. But if it works. Okay, colour's good. Ooh. Maybe it's a bit pale. Okay, I'm loving the finish of it already. Mmm. It's pretty thin, but it's very full coverage. I don't know how I feel about this at the moment. Something I will say, the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer that everyone loves, I don't like it. Okay, wow, I love this foundation. My pores just like completely disappeared. Oh my God, I love this foundation. I really hope it stays like this. Um, I'm now just gonna take the shade Light Warm from Urban Decay. It's not focused on me. There we go. Yeah, if you watch my normal videos, you know how much concealer I usually use. Um, I really didn't want to use that much today. Okay, it mixes really nicely with the Urban Decay concealer. Which is the one I'm using. Yeah, I just didn't get on with the LA Girl Pro Conceal, but I think that's because I think I got a dodgy one. Because the texture, it's kind of lumpy in my one. I think it was something in transit, like it must have gotten really cold. It might have frozen, I don't know, because it was it was just a, the weirdest texture um, ever, ever. So, I might have to get some more of that concealer because Sky swears by it. Um, my friend Sky, if you know her on Twitter, her makeup always looks great. And she was like, how could you not like this concealer? So I think it must just be that I got a dodgy one. Okay, so it's, it won't, it's not transfer proof, even with powder on. Okay, so this is the foundation, um, and obviously I have Ofra Highlight Blissful, 
on my cheeks. Um, my lips look like they are not there because I've got foundation all over them. Let me just fix that real quick. Kind of fix a little bit. It, I couldn't bother to take it off properly. Um, yeah, like I said, Ofra. Um, and I've got the LA Girl foundation on. Obviously, you saw me put it on. Currently, really liking it, so I'll keep you updated throughout the night. Something came up where I had to kind of change the video concept, um, like with to do with another video. The lighting in here is not good, but can you see how like smooth my face looks? This foundation is holding up. It's a bit tacky, but you can see how it just does not match me in any way, shape, or form. We'll just ignore that. My face isn't getting in these shots, so it's okay. It's a shoe video. Piano in the background, so ignore that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I can update you on. Oh yeah, I'm not going to dye my hair tomorrow. I'm going to start the process tonight, I think, just because um, it needs to be ready by Friday. And I don't have a lot of time, so that's probably what I'm going to do. But I will obviously keep you informed, keep you in the loop. Yes. I also need to edit and upload today's video still. I feel like it's standard now that I have a shot where I'm just blue because I'm standing in my hallway in my vlog. So that's literally what I'm doing. Standard Talia blue shot. And then a close up because that's what I always do. Oh, my lipstick's uneven. What a beautiful way to find out. I arrived at Izzy's. She's in a, a Pikachu <laughs> onesie. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, isn't that just brilliant? I love I can't it. Even find the tail. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're just about to start shooting shoe stuff, so. Yeah, you'll see that at some point. Who knows? Who... Why are my eyebrows like that? Oh, something I can do about it now. <laughs> Pikachu says goodbye. <laughs> I was gonna do the voice, but I'm really bad. Pikachu! Pikachu! That was weirdly good. Thanks. Bye! <laughs> So I'm home from Izzy's and now I'm going to do my hair. What I'm going to do is basically prep it for um, probably tomorrow maybe. I'm going to see what I can do. I don't, don't really want to bleach it. I might bleach bath it. But I'm going to use a colour before. Get rid of some of the colour. Basically just see what I can do to get rid of um, as, as much blue as possible. Hopefully get it white but I doubt that's going to happen. Um, but I pretty much need it to be as white as possible before I do this. I've got a sponsored video coming up. Um, end of December to do my hair a different colour. I'm not going to tell you what colour it is. It's a surprise. But I need my hair to be as light as possible for it to work. So let's go lighten it, basically. <laughs> um, quick, quick foundation update. I really love this foundation. However, because it's quite um, oily, it does crease a bit so if you do have like i'm lucky in the fact that i don't have any fine lines if i lift up my forehead i don't really get any lines like they're sort of it i don't know why my muscles in my forehead don't work properly um but it has like settled a little bit in my laugh lines but you can just kind of do that and it kind of looks normal again so i'm really enjoying this foundation it's been like six hours seven hours of wear so, um, obviously I'm in the bathroom, so there's a toilet behind me, please just ignore that. I'm just brushing my hair, um, and I've kind of let the oils, I try to like rub my head as much as possible to get oil out to help protect my hair. It's good if you can just not wash your hair for as long as possible to get like greasy, but um, I've just been like rubbing my head all day trying to like produce oil. Sounds gross, but it's protective. And I'm gonna use this stuff called Color Before. Now it's not a stripper, and um, it basically shrinks the hair color molecules and it washes them out. So it, I found it really, really good. Um, it's a little bit drying, but it's nowhere near as damaging as bleach, like nowhere near. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. Whenever I've changed my hair color before, I always use this. But um, blue is, the hardest colour to remove from hair, it's so um, like sticky if you will, it just sticks to hair, so this is the extra stressful one by the way. So I'm now beautifully wrapped in a Tesco bag, I um, basically put the bag to just help heat because heat helps process, I have to leave this on for an hour, it is now 22.54 so 5 to 11 in the evening. Let's go. I'm gonna go watch some YouTube probably. 
So it has been an hour of having this in my head. So I'm gonna go wash it out. And you're supposed to wash it out for at least five minutes, but the longer the better, so that all the color molecules can like leave your hair, you know? So I'm gonna wash it for a while. I'll stand in the shower and just be me. <laughs> so my hair is a light green now, which I was kind of expecting. I wasn't expecting it to go white, even though I was like, oh, if it does, I knew it wouldn't. Um, so, I mean, obviously I've got roots, so I just look brunette right now. Weird. Uh, I'm gonna go and dry it and then probably do some sort of bleaching. <laughs> yeah, so as I said, my hair's like a light greenish colour. Um, I know, I haven't seen it in the mirror, I can only see it here. So I'm gonna dry it and then, oh god, my roots are still quite blue. And then we'll see what colour it is. I'm gonna dry it downstairs because everyone's in bed and it's like, what time is it? 10 past midnight. So my hair is very light green. Oh, it looks really, really white in this light, I think. I don't know, maybe when I upload it, I'll realize it looks green. Um, it's like a palish green color. Like it looks a lot more greeny in person. I'm pretty sure it looks way lighter on camera. Let me try different lighting. You see, and then obviously it's still pretty blue up here. I'm gonna do a spot of bleaching and just go over all my hair with a bit of bleach but I'm gonna dilute the bleach. I'm gonna use 20 volume um, and then I'm gonna mix in some light shampoo and stuff. So I've got the bleach on it and I think it's turning blue again which is really annoying. It does sometimes happen once you do a colour before it can sometimes revert back to the colour once you bleach it so I'm really hoping, look it looks how blue it looks I'm hoping it's gonna go blue and then go light oh, I don't know keep you updated so there is still a green tint um, bluey green tint but it is a bit lighter this time wait, let's see if I can um, yeah and some of the bits have kind of gone more blonde so I'm gonna do the same again tomorrow when I wake up and yeah hopefully we set to do my hair good morning everybody today is the 21st of december so welcome to day number 21 this is sort of how my hair is from last night if you watched yesterday's vlog i am in the process of changing the color so i think you can see a bit better today that it's still got the blue in it um i just let it dry naturally last night so it's got kind of like a bit of movement it's not as dead straight as it normally is oh my hair is actually a little bit wavy mm, am i just kind of reaching a bit there yeah it's pretty straight um so i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna bleach the roots i think i'm gonna get rid of the roots um but the only problem is when i went to the hairdressers last time my my salon my salon i said that really weirdly um she only did like half of my roots so some of my roots at the back are like this long and then some of them at the front are like that long. So that might be quite difficult by myself. But I might just give it a go. Because if my hair falls out I can just wear wigs. You know. It's one of those ones. Um, yeah let me see if you can get a bit of the hair action. So can you sort of see that it's still. Like here it's pretty blue still. Like under here. Um, and the roots are the brown. Yeah. I might just do, my drawer is open, please excuse that. And um, I might just do like bleach my roots and then do a bleach bath and the rest of the hair. I don't know, we'll see, we will see. It's day number 21, I've actually already found it. I went to look at my calendar and I just, first one I've actually seen, oh I don't like these ones. No, I'm gonna close the door, I'm gonna open it and you're gonna be a different chocolate. Oh, damn it. I want to do my roots and I wanna do another bleach bath in my hair. However, I'm expecting the company is sending me all the stuff for the sponsored video today, like all the hair dyes. So what I don't want to do is I get halfway around my roots or halfway around my hair and the doorbell goes and I have to like answer the door and do all that stuff because it's just going to delay. Like you know with bleach, obviously you don't want to do half your hair and then have to wait five minutes and then carry on doing the rest because that five minutes of processing makes a massive difference. I don't want to have like white roots here and then like bright orange roots somewhere else just because of that five minute difference like, do you know what I mean I'm just very paranoid about it so what I don't want is that the stuff gets here at like 6 p.m and then I'm going to see my friend Jasmine today at like half seven I don't want that and then have to move that back but I do need to do my hair today so I'm just kind of like, I don't really know what to do do I risk it 
I also don't know whether to do, I think I need some more bleach. I don't know if I have enough to do my roots and a bleach bath. Um, hoping I do, but I don't want to risk it again. Do you know what? My hair is actually kind of a little bit wavy. I thought it was straighter than this. I'm a little bit confused. I don't know. I thought bleaching it had kind of straightened out because my hair used to be wavy, but it's obviously so damaged and stuff now that it's just no longer. I quite like this colour. Um, but I am getting rid of it. Yeah. So, I'm kind of just in a dilemma. Not really sure what to do, whether to actually go and risk it or or not. I don't know what time this stuff's coming. It's currently, I'll tell you what time it is now actually. 10.30 in the morning, obviously. Otherwise, it'd be a very weird time to start vlogging. So 10.30 in the morning, I'll leave it until like midday maybe. Um, I also can't really leave the house, so I can't really go and get bleach if I need it until the stuff has come. Because what I don't want is that I go out and as I'm gone, even though it'll be like I'm gone for literally 15 minutes, the stuff comes and then I'm not here to pick it up and then it delays the video. Because obviously when you do sponsored videos and stuff, you... You have contracts that you have to sign everything has to go up on certain days and like or within a certain time frame and you have to send videos off for approval before you can upload them and you often have video days um days that you have to send the video off for approval and if i don't do it today if i don't do my hair today i won't get it done in time for the approval date um so because i've got so much to do this week so i don't really know what to do i just heard a noise dad and sounded like there was someone in my house. I sound so dramatic, but whenever something weird happens, I'm, it happens to me. Whenever something bad happens, I'm always the one in the house. Like we've been nearly burgled, I caught them. <laughs> and I've had a stranger in my back garden when I've been home alone. Like. So excuse me for being a bit um, apprehensive. Dad! gonna grab a weapon <laughs> and by weapon i mean like a knife let's just bring a wooden pin because i don't really feel like stabbing anyone today hello hello dad oh the bathroom light is on that's kind of creepy hello i'm so scared i think there's someone else there so i'm actually terrified let's go find out i've pretty much explored over in the house i don't think anyone is here if I'm home alone and I hear like a really loud noise, just because obviously it's happened to me twice where I've had people trespassing in my house and I've had to deal with it alone. <laughs> I get very anxious when I hear noises that someone's like broken in um, somehow. I don't know how with me in the house, but it's pretty much happened before. So yeah, but uh, terrified the absolute bejeebus out of me, but I think we're good. You are, turn off the camera and then like someone be like, oh. It's me, I just didn't want to be on your vlog. <laughs> People are saying hi, I'm on Periscope. It's not focusing! Quickly focus! Hey! I'm basically Periscoping because I don't know what to do my hair. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, so many hey's. I'm on Periscope. With while cooking, which is normally when I Periscope or when I do my hair. Um, yeah, I'm now going to go back to Periscope and stop vlogging so I can talk to these people. 
Um, I just got a delivery, two of them. I think one of them, wait, hold on. This is the first package and it's from Australia. I think it's from a brand called Tansy and I'm pretty sure it's a bed sheet to stop fake tan and get onto your bed, yeah. It's from Tansy, super cute, right? Um, and I know I don't really fake tan, but every now and again, I do. And they asked me if I wanted one of these and I was like, hell yeah, super cute. It's like a silver sheet. And you pop it on your bed so you don't get your, your sheets dirty. What a concept. And also, my hair dyes have arrived. So I can actually get on and do my hair. Um, I'm very excited. Oh, let's go do my hair. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So my roots have got bleach on. I'm pretty sure I've missed a bunch of them. So that should be fun. They're already starting to turn. They're kind of like yellowy at the moon. I'm only just on the back. So the roots of the back are still dark. But we will see. We will see how much I've uh, messed it up. Yeah. So I have like neon yellow roots and I've just got very, very, very weak bleach on my um, ends. I've got like a tiny bit of 20 vol mixed in with a load of shampoo just to try and loosen the color a bit. And then I'm gonna go to the store, get some bleach and probably bleach bath my whole head. We will see, we will see. It sounds like I've done a lot of bleaching, but the ble all the bleach I've used has been pretty weak. I've mixed it in with like shampoo and stuff. So don't fret, if my hair falls out, I can wear wigs. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. I've just washed out my hair and dried it, obviously, as you can see. My roots are uh, yellow, which I was expecting, and the rest of my hair is kind of just still a minty green because I haven't done that bit yet. Um, in some lights, it looks white on the camera. But like it's literally not white. Um, I wish it was white because that's kind of what I needed to be. Um, it's pretty pale. It's a pretty pale green, and I just did a mini strand test to see if it would pick up color, and actually it does. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about because I know that it will pick up color now. I've done a little strand test, like I said. Um, is obviously this will pick up color differently. So I'm gonna try and get this a little bit lighter, and then maybe go with my roots again. I don't know. We will see, but this is where we're at. I'm gonna go and buy some bleach. <laughs> I've just put on like my sister's hat, just so I can, um, her head is huge. This thing is massive on me. Um, <laughs> she's gonna kill me for saying that. Okay, I'm back and I'm armed with bleach. I really wish you could actually see the color of my hair. Like, yes, my roots are pretty accurate. That, they're sort of pale yellow. But my hair is a little bit more green in real life than it looks here. Like it looks pretty platinum, but it's not. So my hair is in bleach. I had this little thing set up so I could see like the back of my head when I was doing it. Um, it's burning, but that's normal. Bleach kind of burns, so that's where we are at the moment. So my hair is done. I'm so happy with results. Um, the video will be going out on uh, December 30th. Um, in collaboration with Shades of London, so can't wait for you, I can't wait for you guys to see that. I, I'm really happy with the results. The pink hair is back. You say hi then. Jasmine made me delete the other video of her saying hi, so I'm gonna put this in now. We just finished, but we're gonna pretend that we just met. You're so boring. <laughs> I've already started eating, so. <laughs> Yasmin, Yasmin, I just called you Yasmin. <laughs> Jasmine's first time using a Lumi case. Imagine being in a restaurant. Click it, click it. Look. It looks like mayonnaise. And it's not mayonnaise. And back off. We have come to Ikea. Oh, okay, you can't do that. This is a Snapchat. Okay, you need to actually be in my vlogs. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was joke, that was joke. He said film you. No, I didn't. It was a joke. You <laughs> really did say it though. The wild Jasmine walks away, slightly stomping her feet. Okay guys, that is it from me. Sorry the camera quality has gone down again. I've just switched to my um, phone. Uh, the reason I didn't get a video up yesterday is because I was so busy doing this to my hair. I just posted a photo, so you've now all seen it. It's going flowery, which I'm not here for, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.